Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sandbox Channel. Today, we're going to be unboxing the The Band Model 1 to 100, the Astray Refrain Mask Jacket. So, this mask jacket right here, I don't really know about this variation, but you know, I just go onto the internet and then just read a bit of backstory. So, basically, this is uh, Law Gui, the pilot of the Red Frame. Uh, he customized, modified his Red Frame, and then later it was stolen by a Martian called Digo Lowell. And then he just took the this uh, Mars jacket red frame and then he participated the Unius 7 incident and then just sliced off a couple pieces to reduce the pieces damage dealt to the earth. And then he later just returned the Astray red frame uh, Mars jacket back to Lord Gui. So that's basically the story that I read. And um, I don't know the full story, but I assume that Bandai never made a variation of this red frame right here because this red frame, to be honest, based on the story that I saw uh, or I researched, this mask jacket right here don't really have a long appearance in the manga run. So that's why Bandai maybe never make one. And speaking of this mask jacket right here, I actually have two versions of the mask jacket. The first one right here is the one that you, that you see right now is just like a very normal customization and then the second one is just all the bulky armor just cover up the whole unit and then personally i don't like that full armor version i prefer this one this one right here still looks like astray once they put on those bulky armor it felt like something else so if you ask me which one i prefer i will prefer this one other than that bulky armor version so the band of course, it's a third party company, so it's very hard for me to judge. Is it the plastic's gonna be good? Is it gonna stay? Is it gonna stay together? The stability? Really, I have a lot of doubt in my mind, but since the design is so cool, so I thought I would just give it a try. So right now, it's a very, very boring <laughs> box art right here. It's just the Asteroid Reverend Mask Jacket just sitting here and then nothing else. So the box art is pretty boring and then we can see right here the chinese the chinese words of the asteroid reframe mask jacket right here and then you know let's turn it to the side right here you can see some action right here so pulling out the gun and then you can see some details so the details i assume is going to be really nice and then you have some weapons and then we also have the mars equipment introduction right here the bottle the Hmm, okay. Ah, okay, what about the other side right here? So the other side right here, you can see that the the rear view of the red frame jacket, and then you can see the weapons. Again, the new weapons right here. So for those of you that don't know, let me give you a just quick FYI right here. The mask jacket is a, there's a new backpack. The new backpack contained two katanas. And then also when it flipped to the front is actually a beam cannon. So it's kind of like describing it to you. Okay. So, right. I think that's enough chatting. Let's get to the runners first. Now, before I open this instruction menu or I go through the runners, I just want to say something. So when I was opening up the plastic bags of the runners, I noticed that some of the parts already fell out. So, and their packaging is actually not really that good. All, most of the runners, they are stuck together and it's really, really hard for me to pull it out because they're duplicate runners. And then they are sticking really tight. It, it took me quite some time to pull it out. And then when I pull it out, I already see that some of the parts just fell off from the runners. So the packaging, is a little bit questionable. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the instruction menu right here. So first, same thing, just like the box art. And then when we open it, you can see the runners. So just giving it a quick look. And then now let's flip it. Oh, so, oh let's flip it. Um, head, starting from the head. Shoulders, legs. Weapons. Right here, and then we also have the backpack. Okay, complete. Hold on a second. Why do you give me water slide decal when you don't even provide me? Where do I put them? <laughs> okay, so I think I need, I think if I want to put a water slide decal, I may have to go to the official pictures that the band had and then just put it on. So 
Anyway, this is the instruction menu, so let's go to the runners. So first, we have two D runners right here. So first, you can clearly see that this is the legs part. This is the uh this is the d this is the legs part i don't remember this is probably the legs part i forgot and then this is the legs part again and then uh the knees uh legs part and then legs part and i forgot which part is these right here i think this one right here is the shoulders i think shoulders the shoulders joint yes so we have the clear piece c part for the head camera and I don't know what part this is. This is probably the scope of the rival. And then we also have two potty caps right here. We have an eye runner right here. I'm not sure which part of which, but one of the piece from the number 17 is already fell out. So uh, again, the packaging, I already said that there's a little bit of problem about it. So first we can see that this is possibly the knees part. This is the torso. This is, don't know. This is size curve. I think size skirt. Is this size skirt? I, I'm not really sure. So uh, let's just take a look. I, I it's very hard for me to guess. The next one is the H runner. The H runner already got a piece fell out as well. So again, <laughs> I don't know why, but my package when I opened it, most of the part already fell out. So this one right here is the backpack, and then the rest of it I think is the backpack as well. This is the connector for the backpacks. That's it. So C runner right here. This is the main body frame of the red frame right here. We can see the gigantic antenna right here. We can see some legs part. And then we can see this is the shoulders. Oh, no, wait. Actually, this is the, what's it called? The torso, the part that you, um, at the side of the torso. And then this is the torso, of course. This is the waist, backpack. And then we can see this is the, uh, what's that called? Feet, the feet. And then we have the cockpit right here, the cockpit, uh, the cockpit. And then we have some fingers, the head, and the rest of the, these right here, I'm not sure which part. Of course, we have the pilot figure right here. And then this one right here is the A runner. You can see the head, you can see the back of the waist, I think. And then you can see the Gundam face, and then you can see the head. And then some of the handpiece armor right here and at the top of the head, back of the head. And this one right here, I think is the shoulders. The G runner is a really large runner. This one right here is mainly for the backpack. That's it. And then we have the K runner right here. Both of them is exactly the same. Um, so this one right here is very confusing. It's pretty hard for me to, to actually guess which one is which. So let's just take a look at this. So the this is the E runner, two of them. So shoulders part, I can clearly see that. This is the hands, and then I, and then oh, I mean the arms part. This one right here is whoa. This is the shoulders. Oh no, no, no. This is the feet. This is the, this is the thumb, thumb, thumb or index. I don't. I. It's very hard for me to guess. I guess that's it. So this is a J runner. Uh, we can see the rival. We can see the top of the chest, and then we can see. This is the the torso part as well. And then we can see some shoulders. This is shoulders. And then we can see the head frame right here as well. This is the J runner, yes. So F runner right here in the frame again. This one right here is, is the backpack, I guess. This is some skirt armor right here. And then we have the waist armor. And then we have the, this is the backpack. And then these two right here is very hard for me to guess. This is the hands part. And the rest of it is just some joints. L runner is a bunch of parts that I don't know. So this, these part right here, I remember this is for the legs, for the legs, for the side of the legs. And then these two right here, I clearly forgot which part. We have two B runners. Uh, it took me a very long time to separate them because they were holding tight, really tight together. So uh, again, it's the surface of the gampler right here. You can see some feet part, shoulders, and then hands, this one's hands, and then hands, I think this one's hands again, as the arms, oh, I keep saying arms as hands, <laughs> and uh, kneecap, I think, that's it, I think that's it. This is the part that I'm actually really, really impressed, so the P and the, what, which one is this, N, the N and P runner right here, they are both chrome plated, 
chrome plated finish right here. So the blade is silver and then the for the katana parts they already chrome plated for you. So it's really nice. I don't have to repaint it to metallic to gold. Thank God. It saved me a lot of work. Like take a look at this. It, um the third, the finish is actually pretty nice. It's not it's not really that bad. It's it's really nice actually. So this is the part that I'm pretty unhappy about. So this is the end part. So let me just put away some of the dropout parts. So three parts from two of the end runners just fall out. And like when I first and when I first time were looking at the bag, I was like, where did did this pass come from? And then I just like, oh, it fell from the runner. So Again, I don't know which part is which. It's very hard for me to do the guess. So this is the feet part, I assume. And then the rest of it is really hard for me to guess. Overall, um, I think the run the packaging is meh. You know, they, they got some parts fell out and then some parts just really tight. That duplicate run that they really tight to separate it apart. So packaging, meh. But the quality so far is, it seems pretty nice, the quality so far. So lastly, we have the sticker for the head, and then we also have the war side decal. Why don't we just take it out, take it out, and have a good look about it? So this is the war side decal, and um, what should I say about this? Is the printing is um, the printing is a little bit weird, but as I said, it's a third party company. What do you expect? Astray fighter <laughs> red frame. <laughs> <gasps> they cannot use Gundam because it's licensed. Okay, what about what about the rest of it? So let's see. Garbera straight. I think they spell it wrong. Did they? Yeah, they missed the R, I think. Yeah, and then Rehome MJ. And uh the rest of it. What's these heart right here? <laughs> so the rest of it, the warning signs. I mean, the printing is not really that impressive about this waterside decal right here, but I guess it's, is, well, I don't really care because, because, um, I'm gonna need to look at the official pictures in order to put on the waterside decal. So, plus, I don't know that the band waterside decal quality. So, if anyone of you know, known about the, the band waterside decal quality, can you please tell me? Is it, is it, is it good or is it bad? If it's too bad, then I don't put it on because I, I really hate to to spend a long time to put on the waterside decal and just watching it falling apart. So, just tell me in the comments is the waterside decal of the the band is good or not. So just tell me that. So that will be all the unboxing parts. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure you drop a like and then comment on this video about your thoughts and uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.